So you were talking earlier about GCSE. You've done Welsh, you did Welsh up to GCSE, and you got a B. Yes, for a very long time ago, and I've not time. used it since. So you don't feel as if you can remember a lot of that no, at the moment? No, like I can speak 1 to 10, well, 1 to 100 in Welsh, like Dantio, your um, moron for Cara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of thing to stay isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but that's like really as far as it goes. So there's kind of a piece of, of really good news here that you're not going to believe for a while yet, which is that all the work you did then, and people usually, they get through GCSE and they think, I didn't learn anything and none of it's still there and it's all gone. And that's not true. It's actually all still there in your neurological circuits. It's all still available to you. And the work you're doing now is going to start to build the circuitry which will reactivate all that old Welsh. We say now, say what you can, what, what you remember from GCSE, and you've got that small number of things that you can just throw out straight away, but you know that there was a huge amount of other stuff that you did, yep. and you can't bring it out right now. And that, that sense that it's not there anymore is just wrong. It's actually just under the surface. You got there, you got up, you got it to a B, and then it goes back under the surface, but it doesn't go all the way back down to the bottom. It stays around here. So as you push on forwards, you are going to start to have bits of Welsh bubbling up in your brain. And you're going to, when it happens, you'll really notice it. I am really looking forward to watching it happen. Thank you. See you. Christ, son. Now we're <laughs>